There remain many unanswered questions, questionable procedures, and many other facts to the story that have not been shared. Family of a man shot and killed at the Cameo nightclub asks witnesses to step up in the name of justice. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brad Johansson. And I'm Paula Toti. Today, a victim's family is speaking up and raising some serious questions about the Cameo nightclub shooting. The family of O'Brien Spikes held a press conference this afternoon. Local 12's Joe Webb was there. Joe? Well, Brad, the family says it wants justice for all victims. They've hired attorneys and are making serious allegations about how the club was run and security, including Cincinnati police. Eight members of O'Brien Spikes' family gathered in the Eden Park gazebo today. His mother, father, sisters, and three children thanked people for their support and encouraged witnesses of the Cameo nightclub shooting to speak up. Spike's sister, Rakees Mitchell, specifically called on the prosecutor and police to bring everyone to justice and explain how it happened. We all deserve to know how the perpetrators of this crime were able to bring weapons into a club that apparently had metal detectors and other security measures in place intended to prevent this very tragic thing from happening. The family has hired attorneys Chris Finney and Brad Gibson to represent them. They said today they suspect the weapons got in when customers paid club security to bypass the metal detectors. Finney blamed club management and called out club operator Julian Rogers by name. They were reckless in their conduct on a habitual basis. The owner clearly knew what the security force was doing and allowed, either allowed it to happen or instructed it to happen. Finney also laid blame on Cincinnati police officers working security at the Cameo nightclub. Well, I don't think at this juncture there's any question the police should have and could have done more. There was a continuing interaction between the police and the nightclub operator for a period of many years, uh, and it resulted in the biggest mass shooting in the United States uh, in 2017. So obviously they needed to have done more, they should have done more, but yeah, I think that the police both in their capacity as police and as part of the private security force have some culpability in this matter. Now, Finney and Gibson have not filed any lawsuits at this point. We reached out to Julian Rogers for comment this afternoon, have not heard back from him. Cincinnati Police Spokesperson Lieutenant Steve Saunders referred questions to the city manager, who's not commenting either. Brad? Joe, thank you. 17 people were wounded by gunfire during the shootout inside the Cameo nightclub. Cornell Beckley and DeAndre Davis were charged with O'Brien Spike's murder. Davis later died from wounds that he suffered that night. Beckley's now facing two murder charges.